Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, so... I don't know. I've got the compulsion to kind of share this with y'all with the moon doing this eclipse in Scorpio. And I believe Mercury is also retrograding in Scorpio. Um, I was born on a retrograded Scorpio, one degree. Um, so I can I can have a very sharp tongue and I don't like to argue, right? I really don't. I really, really don't. Like People, people think that I do because they tend to hear me fighting, right? They tend to hear me fighting, right? I fight a lot like with certain types of people, certain types of people who know that they can fire me up. And it's really hard to deal with that because I'm an Aries Sun, Leo Rising, Sagittarian Moon, which that Sagittarian Moon can be a little scary, you know, but there comes a point where you have to recognize that you keep removing yourself from arguments and people keep putting themselves in. Now I'm going to show you the last conversation that I have with unknown and you guys can see why we are not together anymore, right? Now, this is the last time I ever talk about them on this channel, y'all. This is it. This is full moon cord cutting here, right? Okay. Last time we're talking about this. All right. You always really want to know what happened what uh we dated i believe two years two years two years and he didn't change at all he never fixed anything that he said he was going to fix he couldn't maintain working study even if he managed to find someone who would keep him employed right he wouldn't he couldn't work more than a week if he worked a week straight he would end up taking the next week off i was drowning in debt and he was no help not only was he no help, he brought in toxic influences, things that I struggled with, right? I have a hard time with sugar cakes and candies and chocolate and stuff like that. So guess what I don't bring into my house? Sugar cakes, coffees, and things like chocolates and things like that, right? Try to keep them out of my house. Um, I think it was abundantly clear to most people that me and Rob had a similar demon when it came to drinking. Uh, I wanted to stop. He didn't. Um, I, a friend caught him talking to other girls on Facebook Messenger inappropriately at that. Um, he was caught in several, several lies. Uh, we broke up. I blocked him for six months. Um, it came down to where I'm going to be getting ready to move. I don't know if my next place will be allowing pets. So I unblocked him to see if I did move. One, since he had a new place, if he wanted anything from the garden area and stuff like that that we had done. And two, if maybe he could take my smaller dog. So that opened up this whole can of worms over the last, like, I don't know, month or so, or a couple months. And uh, every conversation ends in a massive argument. Every time we try to talk, massive argument. Um, if you point out the lies you get screamed at. If you point out the inconsistencies, you get screamed at. If you point out the fact, and this is where I've been getting on with that Crowley, the difference between Crowley and Tesla, right? Um, he's got a Crowley-esque energy. Six months later, I go to see them. He's gotten what he wanted when we met. When we met, his dad had just died. And all he wanted was this trailer that's on this piece of property and a truck. He's getting both. Okay? Um... And when, I, and when I put him out, that's where he went. And it was really, really run down. And I even have a video where we're talking about where it's an argument that we're having. And he's like, oh, well, just let me. I'm like, you're never going to fix it. You're never going to fix it. Six months later, he hasn't fixed anything. He hasn't really fixed anything over there. Nothing's really been fixed. It's been fixed enough just to be livable enough to his standards. And then that's it. He hasn't repaired anything else. Uh, he owes back lot fees. He owes back lights. He owes uh, somebody he got a puppy from money. He owes everybody around him money. He doesn't pay for anything um, except for his vices. Still, still exactly the same. Exactly the same way I found him two years ago before I knew that that's what he was like all right so when I confront him about his lies and I bring up things that happen this is what happens warning this is gonna be rough all right y'all this is graphic kids don't listen to this shit I
your fault it makes me feel like this. Conversation kept going. All right, and this is the absolute last message he sent me. That light that shines on me does mean fucking everything. I'll ride and die with you until we're both drunk under a bridge. That's what that is. I want someone to be fucked up with me. That's all that is. That's not ride or die. That's not ride or die. It's just not. And I don't... <laughs> See, that's the thing. People are always so quick to say, like, man-hating and stuff like that. It's not man-hating. I don't hate men. Actually... For the most part, I don't get along with other feminine energies is my main issue. The only men that I have problems with are men that act like women. Oh my god. I know that sounds terrible, but yeah. Pretty much, and I, not even that, not even, I don't like manipulative people, right? I could, you know, when you can see that someone's manipulating an entire situation and they're not pulling their fair share, they're not listening to you, you sit there and say constantly what you need. Um, in my case, I needed my house repaired so that I can stay here. Well, now the repairs cost too much and they just want to sell the house and I got to move. And I can't be mad at them for that. We were supposed to be fixing stuff. Instead, I ended up being left in debt. And I said that to him at the very beginning. I was like, I don't play the debt game. I don't like it. I don't like being indebted to people. And especially with him, because the way I watched him do it, he gets in debt. He don't pay his debts. He just disappears. He's mad because he wants to come back here. And I keep telling him, you can't come back here. I've got to leave here. So I don't know what you want from me. That's the only reason I unblocked you is because I can't stay here. Yet you keep calling trying to come back here. Time to cut the cord. We got four. Time to bring in that stability, right? And balance. And we got Scorpio again, right? And we've got Pluto. Those undercurrents. Oh, Scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth, and its planet is Pluto with those undercurrents. All right, let's see what the deck of many things has to say here. I don't know. 
it's like and, and it's it's so weird and people wonder why they're like you're living in the past you won't let the past go you're holding on to the past and it's like i i have to right now i have to hold on to the past right now i have to be angry i hate being angry i don't want to be angry but there comes a point where you have to hold on to your anger to keep you making the decisions that you know you need to be making right so that you don't fall back into that enabler mindset, right? That enabler, that just forgive them enabling mindset, right? Just let it go. Let go of the past. And notice they always want to let go. They always want you to let go of the bad things that they done, they've done. But they also let go of all that you've done for them. They just don't see it. Why? Oh, it's in the past. Mm. You know, my first marriage was nothing but fighting like that all the time. But I know that I can be peaceful. I know that I don't like to be angry and I don't like to fight because for the six years up until it came down to, yeah, the enabling thing. As soon as I stopped enabling my second husband and uh started really confronting him about his health and food and things like that that's when we started fighting for the six years before that shit for the 20 years we were friends we never fought we never fought about anything we never fought about anything he wasn't allowed to talk to me for a few months because i told him about his first wife i introduced him I said, I wouldn't have to date her. Don't let her move into your house. A year later, he was married to her and not allowed to talk to me anymore. And then she did exactly what I said she was going to do. But we don't talk about Bruno. All right. Let's see. What do we got going on here now that we're going? Oh, yeah. You know what? That's a good idea. You know, I'm going to even put these back. Two seconds, I'll be right back with the lighter. I forgot to bring it. Mm. All right. All right. Collective energies for those. Just that light that shines on you is everything. My connection to source is everything to me. I don't understand why that's such a hard concept, right? He really, um, I'm just going to say this. He actually got to the point where our arguments were becoming that he said that my angels were really demons. He tried to convince me that my spirit guides and my angels and all the things that I've been sharing with you guys over the last few years and everything that I had done in the cord and that my ritual spells for the full moon in the cord, um, that I was a weak witch because I used tools and altars and candles and things like that. Um, my angels were demons. Um, my intuition was wrong. Um, if you noticed in that one clip, a lot of that clip, he was saying, you're making me feel this way. Oh, you make me feel this way when you call me a liar. It's classic, y'all. It's classic. All right. Let's clear it. For all those that are going through all this lately on similar timelines, on similar energies. Let's see what's going on. For the one four three soul tribe. If you want to know what I say when I do that, I go, Blessed be my family, my homeland. Why well, do the pentacles, obviously? Goddess, earth, air, fire, water, spirit. Blessed be my family, my home, my coven, and me. All right. I save this stuff too because if I were 
if that was a real conversation that I had with him, one, it would have been a screaming match in the backyard, which is what it ended up happening. And it was to the point that my neighbors were even yelling at us for fighting so much. Um, kids had to see it. That sucks, right? It's exactly what I avoided with their father. You know. Everything doesn't have to be a fight. It does not have to be that dramatic. That is not a great frequency to be in. Nobody likes that. And honestly, being maintained in that in long, prolonged periods of time, it creates PTSD. It creates PTSD. I think the angriest my second husband ever got at me, and all he did was just, he just smacked the wall. That's it. It was the worst it ever got. He banged the wall. And I even got on him about that. And he, was, and he went to say something. I was just like, you know. And he was like, I can't say, oh, I can't be loud or angry about anything. Da, 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 da. And it's like, you know, when, when you're bigger than everybody around you, yeah, you got to kind of put that into perspective. You're scarier. Just is what it is. And it's using fear. When you punch a wall... That's saying, this is what I could do to you. I don't care how hangry you are. It's inappropriate. I hope she makes you feel the same way that I feel about you right now. Do not dwell on the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate on the present moment. Yes, what is going on for the present moment? Good Lord said he can get me out of this, but he's pretty sure you're fucked. Love that. My island. It's the Irish guy from Braveheart. No one saves us but ourselves. We ourselves must walk our paths. Um, yeah. so what it's not going to be easy it's going to be really hard I say it about video games all the time if the game was easy nobody would play it you'd get bored go with throw of the old pair. I know that was graphic for y'all. It's all right. It's all right. Don't hold that either. I know I've got some guys out there that do watch my channel. Don't take that to heart. Don't hurt. Get yourself worked up over it. I almost forgot my oracle cards. Genuine, real men. Real men. Real men. Infuriated when they see guys do shit like that. They can't stand it. Real men can't stand that. Real men honor the divine feminine. Now, when you see people screaming and hollering, fighting, that's both energies being into a toxic spot, right? That's not divine feminine, divine masculine having an argument. That's toxic masculine, toxic feminine having that argument. 
Nobody likes the toxic energy. You're not supposed to anyway. Some people do. Some people do. Some people dwell in it, love it. That toxic ass energy. And some people don't. Calling the storm. Ooh. Creation time. Calling the storm. I like that. You are the storm. That is my most watched video too. 2019 Aries. You are the storm. Little did I know what I was going to be creating. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you can go all the way down to the first video on this. On this channel, I believe. Uh, some people got it. But if you've been with me for a while, you can see where... It clearly went, when the videos, it clearly went from him putting off that he genuinely believed in me, and genuinely believed in my guides and stuff like that, and you can, you saw it, you could see it slowly drifting out of that and into the, him trying to take over what was going on. Um, I had to stop doing interviews and stuff like that with the people that I did the Earth Day Summit with. Uh, he really freaked me out with that because he insisted on being in the background of the video for the panel that night. And then he insisted, like, and, and I even told him, I was like, dude, I just spent six hours time stamping and watching every interview today, along with doing my own interview and really participating with this group. He couldn't stand that, right? He couldn't stand that. He was jealous of freaking Leo from Orion Rising. And, uh... Yeah. Even at the end of the video, he jumps up and he tries to get into the conversation. But then he tells me that he didn't want to be on camera. He didn't want the limelight. Just weird shit like that. And he's mad because he knows that some of my friends, I called it at the very beginning. I was like, I don't know. I give everybody the shadow of a doubt. I give everybody a chance to change and prove themselves. And I understand that people hit hard times and go through hard spats. But I pay attention. I pay attention. Right? Two years, nothing changed. And I've said this before. There is a video that's labeled somewhere down in here from a Cards and Coffee that says, How long is too long? And I can't remember if it was before or after... I met Rob that I did that video, but I do remember distinctly in the video that I said I spent 10 years with my first husband, and that was too long to stay in that toxic situation. I spent six years with my second husband, well, five years really, married, and I was like, and that was too long because clearly the person wasn't changing. They just got worse throughout the entire relationship, and then, you know, you have to read recognize at a certain point when you're the enabler and it's just like it's a programming it's like what well how did I become the enabler you know how did I get into this energy and then you that's when you that's when what that's when who comes out the closet that inner child right that inner child that wanted to please their parents and especially if you went through parents that were had their own toxic shit and divorces and yelling and screaming and fighting and that was normal and drinking and booze and alcohol and all that was normal and the crazy making and the all that shit was normal environment that you grew up in the first several years of your life. And it's not till you get older that you realize, no, that's not normal. That's not normal. It's not normal. I'm going to say it again. It is not normal. Having disagreements, normal. Having arguments, normal. Um, screaming at the top of your lungs, spit coming out of your mouth to your partner that they're whore, or the nasty, horrible, vile insults. Not even this isn't even part of arguments anymore. These are just insults, right? Right? It's all coming to a hell with this Johnny Depp shit too, isn't it? I've had some bad exes, but thank God none of them ever pooped in my bed. I just, I lost it when I learned that shit. All right. <clears throat> Let's get to this. 
main energy of the timeline for the collective what's going on here 66 is going to be a big number today we have the eight of swords self-imprisonment right self-imprisonment it's time to come out of this self-imprisonment right it's time to release yourself from it time to take off the blindfold time to step out of the ring of swords right it's time to start celebrating with those who celebrate with you and bring out that positive energy definitely a lot of defined feminine energy with the three of cups usually right my god has the angels there right what are they holding the swords other the sheaths yeah yeah i like that for sure celebrate with those who celebrate with you don't be afraid to cut cords from those who ruin celebrations don't be afraid to cut cords from those who ruin celebrations right i definitely get a sense of worried about impoverished poverty worried about being poor worried about losing income money um usually that's the main trap that gets you stuck with people what i can't yeah i can't afford to live alone but at the same time you really need to look where you really before can you afford to live with them because they that affects you all the way around too right you got these toxic people in your energy that ruin celebrations you can never have a good time that puts a damper across everything that puts a damper across about how you perform at work right are they pulling their end of the way you know things like that all get affected so what's worse right what's that i can do bad all by myself right that's kind of what you got to face here with this worrying about going into poverty, right? This is definitely, we got six of swords and six of pentacles here. This is a rite of passage. This is a rite of passage that was meant to teach you what genuine even give and take of energy is like. What genuine give and take of opinions and knowledge and things like that is like, right? When, yeah, that's just it. When you're having... I want to say disagreement or if you're sharing different opinions with someone or things of that nature the object isn't to win right like what is this isn't a debate there's no points there's no nothing like that as facts and knowledge and just you know experiences and things like that go through yeah when you're presented with new facts and knowledge you should be able to adapt your opinions and things like that um, some people can't and you got to realize when there's not an equal give and take it's always I want you to believe what I believe and I want you to give up what you believe to believe what I believe right and that energy's not going to work you're never going to get someone who believes in round earth to believe in flat earth and chances are you're never going to get somebody who believes in flat earth to believe in round earth it just is what it is you're on different frequencies. And if you're on those different frequencies, if you're on flat earth and I'm on round earth, then we're just not going to ever mesh. That's all there is to it, right? You're not on the same frequency I am. Not saying you're on a worse frequency. Not saying you're on a whatever frequency, right? That's just It's just a different frequency. And I'm not comfortable in that frequency. And you're not comfortable in my frequency. So if we're in each other's frequencies, it's not going to work, right? going to constantly like two magnets trying to push them together it's never going to work it's always going to end in chaos on the 5d i definitely got to focus on divine feminine energy here right there's definitely a grounding right genuinely grounding finding their center right embracing the world again after being in kind of an entrapment situation right putting up that defensive bubble what i'm putting up my shields i'm calling down my divine light and broadcasting it so fucking brightly that you can no longer see me if you're not on my frequency you can't see the light it will blind you putting up my defenses my seven of wands here what each one of these is another reason i have decided to build this wall to build this shield and to keep you on the other side of it right there is a realization between you got a knight of cups here right and this is what we were talking about here right with that whole you hate men no no divine feminines don't hate men we hate toxic masculine men who 
keep old lovers in their back pocket. That's what we like to call them. Instead of back burner now, we call it back pocket, right? Why? Because they're in your phone, in your back pocket, right? You got all these little, what? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Oh, don't do what I do. Who you talking to? Nobody. Oh, you don't want to do this anymore? Oh, you don't want to do it that way? Oh, you don't want to do it my way? Fine, I'll find someone who will do it my way. That's toxic as shit. What? I don't want to give up the way I live. You know, the my toxic behaviors type of deal, right? Now, I brought that up to bring this up. The Knight of Cups is a very different type of energy, right? The Knight of Cups is that romantic energy, right? It's a loving energy. It's a genuine, it's a positive masculine energy. This is the kind of, yeah, it's a positive masculine energy, right? And that's the kind of energy, like, if you don't come at me, come at, or come at Divine Feminines in general with that positive energy and yeah, it's not going to go through anymore. It's not going to get through the shields, right? There's definitely a hangman stuck situation. It's definitely starting to see things in a very more broader, different perspective going on. Um, it's a taking of the knowledge of everything that's been learned and using it to not make a checklist per se. I think it's far easier to make a checklist of attributes you don't want Instead of focusing so much on what you do want in a partner, I think it's a more of an aspect of what, when I recognize toxic behavior not changing, right? I don't, I'm not going to tolerate toxic behavior anymore. That's really the only thing that should be on your frequency. And it's got nothing to do, like a lot of people get into this whole love, um, what did I see? It was a post that said, before you slide into your DMs, look at you and then look at me and see if we add up. And I was like, books and covers and all that jazz, right? I mean, it's got nothing to do with looks. It's got nothing to do with anything else like that. What you should, you shouldn't be looking for a partner that I'm only going to date a gym guy with muscles and da 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 And you've got these, all these toxic freaking people that are just like, oh, uh, my partner has to be under this height. A lot of physical attributes there that's that's not cool right no it should not be about how someone looks like i mean it helps and it shouldn't be about money i mean money helps you don't have to have these things they do help but you don't have to have them right what should matter 110 percent 110 percent what should matter the most when you're around somebody how do they make you feel right when you're around somebody how do they make you feel when they come around, do you instantly feel calmer? Or do you feel agitated? When they leave, can all you think about is when's the next time you're going to see them? Or do you have to run and take a shower because you feel grody? Just saying. All right, what does the 5D have to say? The 5D has to say that there's definitely some new establishments coming, especially in the foundations and home and money. There's definitely new foundations being built, um, getting ready to start taking place, right? I know they're saying there's a lot of anxiety right now, right? And this is one of the things that I've always said before. Um, the universe has this fun, fun game that it likes to play where it stresses you out completely to the very edge, to the max, right? It wants to see if you genuinely trust it, right? Do you genuinely trust it? Because if you genuinely trusted the universe, you would feel like something's going to break through. Something always breaks through. Something always breaks through, right? Um, but it's going to stress you out. And it's going to stress you out on purpose. Why? Why does it have to stress you out? What? Because you had to have that last argument with that person. Stressful, right? Uh, what that stress is what gets you to finally yeah take off that blindfold in the eight and step out and now you're in a new comfort zone you're in a all new comfort zone you're in a whole new energy you're on a whole new vibration right you've stepped into a new frequency and it feels a little weird and uneven and unstable right now, right? And the universe is telling you what stability is coming. It's okay. Calm down. Breathe. Calm down. Breathe. Calm down. Breathe. How is it coming in? Dude, I can't make this stuff up, right? 
I've said this before, when you change frequencies, right, you can, when I say this even for those of you that are like on the twin flame timeline, right, there's toxic twins, have no doubt, have no doubt there's toxic twins out there. We like to call them false twins um, of that type of nature, and that's not really what they are. They were genuinely twins. You are a fractal energy, right? You are a fractal energy. There's multiple variations and versions of you on different timelines. There are six billion different versions of you all walking the earth right now, right? We're all, we are all one, right? So you can have that genuine connection with somebody and then when it finally breaks, when one person changes and the other one doesn't, both of y'all will end up attracting another energy that matches your frequency, your new frequency. And that's what's coming in, right? Is coming in. This one, I know uh, they, they, I get the energy of they want to come in as the Knight of Cups, but they're going to come in as the Page of Cups, right? Um, I'm getting a lot of, yeah, why? Why? Because how does the person make you feel, right? Right? There's people you come around, they make you feel like a little kid again, right? And don't feel bad about that because they feel the same way. They're going to feel the same way. You're going to feel like you're like, oh my God, I haven't been this like goofy and weird feeling since I was a little kid. And that's good. It's a pure energy to be in and just cut them some slack because they're going to be in that energy too. But it's goofy, it's weird. It's just, oh man, I just, I feel like a dork, right? How bad? I mean, just imagine your first crush. I don't know about y'all, but my first crush, it was... It was bad. Like, I, I practically ran from the kid all the time. Like, I hid from him all through middle school. It was horrible. Um, when I moved, I had to, like, I, like, did this thing where I was, like, I was taking pictures of my friends, but I would wait for him to walk behind him so I could have a picture before I left. This is before social media, y'all. I'm older than Google, so just put that out there but yeah that's the kind of energy that it's going to be but don't worry <laughs> don't worry when it comes to the important things they're not childlike at all this king of wands here at the end they're extremely passionate person they're an extremely passionate person and it's, it's that extreme passionate energy that kind of has them being a little goofy when they come in there's definitely divine connections getting ready to come in and don't let that give you anxiety all right, we got calling the storm. It is time to call the storm, right? It's time to, like I had, I just shared a post, I think yesterday I was talking about the tower, right? This is kind of what it is. What? I'm so tired of being stuck in everybody else's storms that finally I'm going to be the storm, right? I'm going to be the storm. We got dream time creation. It's time to get creative. It's time to think out of that box. You had that reversed hangman. Not the reverse hangman. You had that hangman in there in the reading as well. It's just a lot of calling of time to get creative. Time to think outside the box. Time to start thinking a little differently. And start to breathe things into life. And I like how he's almost breathing this creative storm here. And that could be a great message for somebody too. It's time to become a creative storm. Right? Time to become a creative storm. Time to be inspiring again get a spell what's a spell good spell for this full moon hmm hmm maybe i'll do it in the court tonight i'm still gonna do a live readings for the full moon tonight i always say that but i never know how i'm gonna feel at the end of the day i like doing the readings early in the morning before anybody else wakes up in their energies before anybody calls and starts getting my uh my brain going too much Good Vibrations Chakra Package. Nothing wrong with some good vibrations. 
All right, good vibration chakra package. Burning candles of a specific color is a simple and direct form of magic. The color spectrum is composed of seven colors, all visible in the rainbow and correlate with seven basic vibrations. To combat feeling sad, wear yellow to raise your energy level. You can experiment with different combinations too. First chakra, root, red, security and survival. Second chakra, sacral, orange. orange and it's for pleasure third chakra is the solar plexus yellow divine yellow for divine fourth chakra green for abundance fifth chakra your throat chakra blue for creativity sixth chakra sixth chakra third eye indigo for perception seventh chakra crown violet for bliss oh here hold up so you can screenshot that if you want it Let's get our magical symbol for today to go with our good vibrations, focusing on clearing chakras today. So we'll do a chakra clearing spell tonight. What do we got? Oh, I love it. Fairy magic. Respectfully working with the fairies and elements to achieve your goals. Don't tell me not to believe in fairies, mother trucker. Right? Achievement, win the award, the accolade, or the contract. I am just got a compulsion for this. I think you have no heart and I had a mind wants to give you mine. Hmm. I've always found the people that tend to call me heartless are people that I did astronomical amount of things for and they only started calling me heartless after I cut them off. If you notice a lot of these people tend to have very addictive personalities kind of like when an addict uh, shows back up in your driveway begging for 10 bucks. If you don't give it to them, then all of a sudden you're this worst enemy in the world. Gotta let it go. Don't let people, don't, that, that's, that's trying to drag the enabler out of you, right? That guilt response. You lean against me, and I'll lean right against Right, lean right back against you and that way neither one of us has to sleep with our heads in the mud that's it y'all that's it don't be afraid to lean with your friends and let your friends lean on you um not in the uh and that's it that's the equal give and take right this is that's from forrest gump by the way that's bubba and forrest right and he's like i'll lean against you you lean against me and that way we don't have to sleep with our heads in the mud and they sit up against each other because there was nothing else to sit up against right it's not carry me. It's not hold me. It's not, I'm going to lean on, I'm going to, you lay down in the mud and I'm going to lay on top of you so that I don't get dirty. Right? That's not, that's not how it works. That's not, you give to me until, so that you're in detriment and I'm not anymore. That's not how it works. It's supposed to be even. You lean against me, I'll lean against you. And it'll be an even balance, right? I get a lot of things with this man-hating stuff and everything else going on. And it's, oh, women hate men because of all this hoopla going on with all the news and whatnot. And it's, it's got nothing to do with that, right? And people are like, it's too hard to live with people. That's not true either. It's not too hard to live with people. It's hard now because there's no roles. Okay? There's no roles. There's no boundaries. And there's no set things. The happiest people, the happiest couples have set roles. Set role. Knowing your role is important, right? And I don't mean barefoot pregnant in the kitchen right it doesn't matter what your role is you could be the one that goes to work and have a stay-at-home husband you can have someone who what okay um 
And I think I've said this before. You can have the husband's job is to do the laundry and the wife mows the yard. It doesn't matter who does what. It matters is who knows who's responsible for what, right? Because one person can't be in charge of everything. And that's something that I know that used to personally drive me nuts with, I think, all of my relationships, right? Um, things that I forget right? Things that I forget. That's kind of why laundry is always a thing. I always forget about the laundry, right? So it's nice that if someone else could step up and be like, you know what? I notice you forget laundry all the time. I'll make sure that it's my job that the laundry goes into the dryer at night. One thing that I can take off your mind, that's how you can lean on me, right? Um, you know, for like, I like to cut the grass. What? I notice you work outside all fucking week. So while you're inside helping out with catching up on laundry, I'll go outside and mow the grass. And that'll be something you don't have to worry about anymore. Oh, I noticed that you seem to forget to put the trash cans out on every Wednesday or whatever. You miss it every now and then. How about I'll make that my job so that you don't have to worry about it anymore. That's it, right? That's it. When someone's got a shit ton of burdens and it wouldn't be anything to just be like, you know what? Instead of you having to tell me every time the trash needs to be taken out, like I am a child that lives in your house, how about I will make it my responsibility that I notice when the trash can is full and I'll make sure that either I take it out or I'll ask somebody else to take it out. And that'll be something you don't have to be. Another thing that you're not a constant nag to everybody about. Do you see what I'm saying? There's balances that can be found, but you have to be able to sit down and be able to discuss these things. And then this is the important part. You have to be able to sit down and have the discussion and then be able to see things start to elevate from there. If you sit down and have the discussion and then nothing ever fucking changes, that's a major problem. All right. And that's all I got to say about all that today, y'all. Blessed be all those who are walking these trippy, weird, sometimes scary paths with me. I love you guys so much. Ooh, that was a long one this morning. I'm going to be back as soon as I can. I'm going to try to get in the court tonight. We're going to do some stuff today. It's a full moon. Ooh, if not tonight, oh, I got to find out the exact time of the full moon. I'm going to let you go, though, because I'm almost at an hour. All right. Love you guys. Be back as soon as I can. I promise.